it's it's sort of good isn't it when you you know from experience when you you, you realize that you know and that instead of just sinking like every last minute you've got like up, right up into the point when the deadline's there and you know you could have spent all that time on something else and you know instead you've got some like halfway finished <laughs> project oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like when I get back, it'll, well, I'm taking it with me too. I have to do it all uh, on paper, but that'll be okay. I can do a lot of editing uh, by writing things out and rewriting it there. And then when I get back, I can transcribe it all over. But, you know, it's just, yeah, you've got to really decide, you know, what's the most important thing? Because if you don't have that, then you're going to run around aimlessly trying to do things that don't matter. So. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, That's a great way yeah. to start the show. <laughs> yeah, I know. So there you go. So um, that was not funny at all. <laughs> I know it was not funny. This is very serious. Now let's get to some comedy. Well, you know, the last show was our comedy show. I'm sure I'll mess some stuff up on this one and, and have some complete brain breakdowns. But uh, <laughs> I, I, we, off air, we were trying to figure out, you know, uh, books that maybe we had read um, that actually are the comedy as it's described by Booker and neither of us, this is not going to be our, our strongest of the, of these no, shows. We don't have a sense of humor. I no, know. I we just realize that I hate comedy. There's nothing I, I, funny. I, about it. No. <laughs> I hate laughing. I hate uh -huh. it. God, I so, hate laughing. Oh, I know. It's just, there's nothing funny in the world. Like if you, if you looked outside, there's nothing. So <laughs> it's raining right now. <laughs> I know. I, know. I, I, I've got a gigantic hornet's nest across the street that my son discovered. It's like bigger than a basketball and it's up in the neighbor's, up in the neighbor's tree. You know, there's nothing funny about that. <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to say like in, in the corner of your office. I do. It's just, it's there. It stings me. <laughs> keeps me awake that's how i get going all this time so. that's how you get through like 15 or back-to-back -back podcasts isn't it that's <laughs> right, kick it the is. hornet's nest <laughs> <laughs> they wrote the name that book after you didn't they <laughs> kick the hornet's. that's right <laughs> the writer who kicked the hornet's nest so every <laughs> so trying to figure this out you know for the comedy uh the main idea with this is that you've got a hero and a heroine who uh just cannot seem to connect you know they can't get together during this whole thing and in the end that they will and so it, this really does follow every romantic comedy plot that's ever been invented on on the movie screen so um so we, i probably will pull from that more than from books but um but definitely you know like pride and prejudice um was is one and it's been remade several times you know it definitely pulls out those comic elements in it and that's one that I was able to think of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we, we also kind of thought that, you know, like a lot of, we've got to consider as well with some of these ones, especially like the old liter older literature, like they will have been like quite funny to the audience at that time. And like with, say, Shakespeare, you know, a lot of the jokes, they're, um, they're from that particular period in time. And, you know, that we almost may not pick up on some of them. You know, they might be like a joke about like social classes or something uh -huh was happening at the time so obviously comedy is something that's that's always changing isn't it it doesn't i mean obviously like you know toilet humor that's always going to be funny <laughs> <laughs> but you know there's there's um there's there's some things where the the relevant it's the funny because yeah it's yeah it's it's very topical you know like um in that's the word <laughs> in, <laughs> in 20 years you know you're not going to be able to sit down and watch john stewart and think it's particularly funny you know because it's it's all about the news today and in 20 years people will watch it and be like i well, why was this guy funny i don't understand what this was about because they don't under you know they're not here at this time and, and understand the ideas that we're all sharing it's like every, like um you know the the cartoon show Family Guy. Yeah. You know that's like obviously a pretty American show and obviously like it's hilarious <laughs> but like <laughs> every now and then there's there is like a really American joke in it or you know it might relate to uh, pop culture like American pop culture or something or reference someone that just like I just don't get. <laughs> And like there'll be something that I know was should have been really funny. I must be like staring at the screen, like <laughs> didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, crickets, crickets chirping in the background. <laughs> yeah. Not even crickets because English England is rubbish like that, and we don't have many. <laughs> Ambient noise is like the washing machine. Yeah, our driving past. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you for listening and come back next week for more. Please visit thebookeditorshow.com for show notes, links to guests, books and extras, and for information on how to be a guest on the show.